ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the second official video on the Motor Mike YouTube channel. Yes, the second video ever made on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my 1973 Volkswagen Beetle named Judy. And we're going to be going around. I'm going to be showing you what it's like to own and drive such a beautiful classic as Judy the Bug. And pretty much uh, give it a grand tour. So let's hop into it. Taking a look around the 1973 Volkswagen Beetle, known as Judy, as we can obviously see, she is very red, a very reddish orangey color, which is you stock paint job from the factory back in 1973. She has only 6,000 miles on the odometer. I'll show you guys in a moment, but only 6,000 miles on the odometer and a rebuilt motor with less than a thousand on the motor, which is good for me. Because I don't know anything about this. Like, I'm not sure. Like, I know that's a, a little gas filter right there. The freak is out of damn fire hydrant. Like I said, I don't know anything about mechanics as of yet. I think that's called a distributor or something. There's the, where I put oil in when it leaks out every now and again. Which this car does leak a lot of oil at times. But that's not the point. Let me close that up now. I said too much. And as you can see right here, white wall tires on it which I haven't cleaned, which I probably should clean in my tape repair, which is, you know, professional mechanic grade stuff. Inside the beautiful car, we have such classic hippie seat covers on Judy the Love Bug, but she does have nice seats. I just like the seat covers that came with the car and I'm low key hippie down low, so our little secret. Inside, I do not have, my gas gauge does not work. That does not work. Also, if you can see, 6,000 miles on there. So I'm not a liar. So I have a little sticker to remind myself to check the gas. But apparently, I forgot to check the gas and I ran out on the side of the highway one time, which was fun. I thank God for good friends that will save me. Here's my little gas indicator of mileage when I put gas in it. Aftermarket radio, which sucks because it comes out the 73 speakers. So I have a JBL aftermarket yeah. Continuing on with the tour of the Volkswagen Bug, known as Judy. As you can see, I customized it by crashing into my mother's car and leaving a dent in the front bumper because I left it in gear, which is, you know, power move on me. And also, let me show you the front of the bug. We saw the back. Now, here's the front. There's no motor, obviously. So it's pretty much the spare tire, which is completely flat. This came from factory. That's the washer wiper fluid and it uses the air from the spare tire and it puts the washer fluid, follow this up to your to your window, right? Right, piece right, I'll show you in a second, it doesn't matter. The little wiper squirter thing is right there. Uh, also, all Volkswagen Beetles that are old come with sketchy ass wiring, as we can see. Uh, apparently, some of it works. The indicators are optional. They come on half the time. You know, like 50% of the time, they work 100%. And honestly, it's, uh, you know, it's a it's gas tanks right there too that's the big old honking gas tank but yeah she's uh she's in decent shape for what she is let me close this on now you gotta give it a you press the button and gotta jostle it a little there we go now is judy perfect no judy is not perfect there's obviously dents little scratches there a couple dings and dents but Listen, for around six grand is what I paid. And honestly, anything cheaper is gonna be rusted out and anything more expensive is not gonna be worth, so. For overall, I think I got a, you know, a really, really solid deal. Oh, best part right here. It, this is on the Mustang too, guys, so. Uh, yeah, improvements all around. Ch absolute chick magnet, you know. I'm gonna need all the help I can get. But overall, not a bad little car. Now I want to show you what it's like to drive such a pristine automobile such as Judy the Volkswagen. And we'll go for a little cruise and we'll see what it's about. What a sight. What a beautiful lady. Hopping, oh. Hopping into Judy is very interesting to say the least. You don't have a lot of space to work. You gotta kind of open the door to get the seatbelt on. But once you're in, you are nice and snug and cozy. Anyway, like most old cars, Judy has a startup procedure. And what you must do is you must take your key first. 
pop it in the ignition as of obviously. That wasn't even proper grammar, but screw it, we're gonna rock with it. Now you have to do exactly two pumps on the gas. One, two, right? That's two pumps on the gas. Make sure she's in neutral, wiggle the stick, clutch down, but before you start it, prime it, key back off, prime it, key back off, prime it one more time, key back off, and then, then she's running and she purrs like a kitten. Let's go for a little drive and I'm gonna show you what Judy is about. I got out the parking lot first. Hopefully I don't stole on my camera. Now this is my first time learning stick shift. So if you hear me grind a gear or two, or possibly stall, you know, give me, give me a chance. I'm still learning, but I've been practicing for quite a while now, so I should be all right at it. All right, we are now pulling on the main road from the terrible pothole infested parking lot we were just in. I might be talking a little louder than usual. It gets a little bit loud in here at times when you're trying to get up gears and stuff. So behind the wheel of Judy, the 1973 Volkswagen Bug, what is it like? Well, for starters, it's a good classic car. It's got good bones. Definitely a good place to start if you're into cars and you want to wrench on your first car. This is why I half the reason why I bought Judy is to figure out how to work on cars. If you didn't see my first previous video, about the Mustang, which is named Priscilla. Go check that out, and you will see how idiotic I am when it comes to comes to cars. I don't really know all too much, unfortunately. And half the reason I bought this was to learn how to work on cars and fix stuff and modify. I might keep the stock, but you know, daily driving modify, kind of, that makes sense. I've been kind of daily driving this along with the Mustang for about, two months maybe not the most legal two months but i've been driving here for two months on the road and honestly it's never let me down besides running out of gas for the, like one time it has really done a good job at being a car and for the age it's pretty well now there is a bit of a story with judy which is kind of i don't really know the full story about judy the the, the, the volkswagen she only has just creeping over 6,000 as we speak. Let me make sure this is all right. It's kind of a little bumpy. She just, she literally just hit 6,000 miles on the odometer. And honestly, I'm pretty sure that's all the mileage she's ever had. I don't think this car was driven too, too often. Which is shocking, because this was the equivalent to your Civic and Corolla back in the day. And for it to have so little mileage on it is definitely you know, make, makes you wonder. As I was saying, I kind of had to pull over, check the GoPro, make sure everything was working well. But I only bought Judy for six and a half grand. Wow, those are a lot of birds. I'm not sure if y'all can see that, but those were a lot of birds going by. And there's a very interesting backstory, like I was saying. I don't really know the, the full history of this car. Because it only has 6,000 on the odometer. And the brakes, I just had them done at a, at a shop. The brakes were from 1973. Original freaking brakes on this car. Original brakes. Who the hell bought a Volkswagen and drove it 6,000 miles? I don't know who buys a car and doesn't drive it. This was meant to be the daily driver and nobody drove it. So now, this car pretty much has a second life now. I'm pretty much going to be putting miles on this car and enjoying it and embracing it and showing it the love. Well, it's been cared for, trust me. This car has been loved and cared for. But I'm just going to go experience this car and tell you what it's like to be a young kid with not only a Mustang, but a classic such as this. This is like, I'm just, oh, loud here. This has been my dream car. Now you may laugh, but this has been my dream car for years on end, years on end. I'm talking from when I was like that tall to now. I always wanted a Volkswagen. Always wanted a Volkswagen, stick shift. Preferably like a mid 60s model, but I'm not complaining with this. This is just, this is great. I enjoy this car a lot. And to pay only six grand 
for a car with only 6,000 miles and really not a lot to be done mechanic wise like the clutch and motors and all that are still really good well when I say clutch and motor I mean clutch and the gear shifter and all but to only pay six grand to have the experience of driving something well relatively as cool as this is great I really enjoy having a variety of cars at my age because I have worked for years on end, years, I'm talking six, seven years, just to have something like this. So the fact that I was able to make it happen for myself is amazing. I'm so proud that I came this far in life. So a little emotional, I'm a little emotional right now. This is definitely stuff dreams are made of. But we're gonna see a lot more of this car, Judy the Bug. We're gonna see a lot more Priscilla the Mustang and many other cars. I have people interested in me reviewing that car. So in the near future, we're gonna have a lot of fun. It's gonna be a good year on the Motor Mike YouTube channel, 2023. It's where it's gonna be happening. If you guys did enjoy, I would subscribe, I like, or anything like that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching. Stay strong, stay, stay humble. Stumbled my words a little bit. I will catch you in my next upload. Have a good day, guys.